I hope everyone's doing great today. I am Mr. H. Thank you for joining me. In this video, we're looking here at more practice for these type of differential equations where you have to solve them, where you're utilizing the integrating factor technique. You have a linear first order differential equation and you're using the integration factor technique as you saw in the previous two videos of this same style. You know everything over here looks like something like this dy over dx plus py equals q. You have to convert it into that form and then you go from there. When you're looking at this, you have to divide everything by 2x. When you divide this entire expression here by 2x, you'll have dy over dx plus 1 over 2x. y is equal to 1 over 2x. From here now, you can determine that integration factor. You have e exponent, you have p dx. But well, what's your p value? It's all of this. You have e integral 1 over 2x dx. When you're doing all of this, you know you're getting e to the 1 over 2 ln x. But when you use the properties of logarithms, you're doing e ln x to the 1 over 2, which is really e exponent ln root x. This right here simplifies to just root x using the properties of logarithms. And you know that to be the case. This right here is your integration factor, which you multiply across this expression. When you multiply it across, over here, your integration factor, your if, which is root x, you'll get root x dy over dx plus root x over 2xy is equal to root x over 2x, which you can simplify. When you simplify, you're getting root x dy over dx plus y over 2 root x is equal to 1 over 2 root x. This item comes from the derivative of a expression, which is not hard to determine. Look at this item right here and look at this item and combine them, you have y root x. If you do the product rule implicit differentiation, you'll get this. And you're looking at it in terms of its integral with the integral of 1 over 2 root x dx. This right here is not hard. You have a y root x because these cancel out is equal to 1 over 2 integral of x to the minus 1 over 2 dx. When you solve all of this out, you have y root x is equal to 1 over 2 x to the 1 over 2 over 1 over 2 plus c. And you have n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 rule. These will cancel out. You'll have y root x is equal to root x plus c. y is equal to 1 plus c over root x. And that can represent the function for which this differential equation is true. And your answer will be right. And this question has been solved. Now the next two questions will be slightly more tricky and they'll get a little difficult. The next question is this 2 dy dx minus y equals 4x. How do we start? Divide everything by 2 and now get it converted into the form that you want to see dy dx minus y over 2 is equal to 2x. Now you can clearly see your p value. Here p is equal to minus 1 over 2. Your integration factor you can determine is e integral minus 1 over 2 dx which if you calculate it will be e to the minus 1 minus x over 2. I'm just skipping a step over here, but if you integrate this minus 1 over 2, it'll, you'll get e to the minus x over 2. This integration factor will multiply with everything over here, your if, your integration factor will multiply across. And let's do it. You'll have e to the minus x over 2 dy over dx minus e to the minus x over 2 over 2 y is equal to e to the minus x over 2 and then you have a 2 and then you have an x. It's just m distributing across. When you look at this, this comes from the derivative implicit differentiation of something that and that. Combine them y e to the minus x over 2. That part is done. Now you have to find the integral of this. You have 2 e to the minus x over 2 x dx. I want to rewrite this. I want to bring the 2 out. I want to bring the x over here and I'll remove this. So I have 2x e to the minus x over 2 and you know what technique you'll utilize here? Integrating by parts. It's going to be a little bit of work. It could be a little annoying but we have to do it. When you look right over here this cancels out. You have y e exponent minus x over 2 is equal to what will come out as the antiderivative over here. If u is equal to x, du is equal to dx, v is equal to the integral of e to the minus x over 2 dx. You can do a substitution technique. If a is equal to minus x over 2, then dA is equal to minus 1 over 2 dx, and then dx is equal to minus 2 dA. When you combine all of this over here, your antiderivative of this is minus 2 e to the minus x over 2. So you have a u, you have a v value, you have a du. So you have to do u v minus integral v du. And you have this 2 sitting outside. u is x, v is minus 2 e to the minus x over 2. 
minus integral of v minus 2 e to the minus x over 2 dx and there it is but you'll have to open this up and you'll have to solve this when you solve this you get this again which will impact with everything so let's take this to completion and we'll remove this so we can show you everything which will come i'm also removing this little work here for the integration factor because i need space now let's look right over here and start writing it down we have y e exponent minus x over 2 is equal to let's start opening this up I have a minus 2 times x times 2 is a minus 4x e to the minus x over 2. I have a minus 2 multiplying with this minus which will multiply with this 2. I'll get a positive 4 plus 4 and I'll have an integral e to the minus x over 2 dx. So we're not complete. We still have to do this. But you know from here as our antiderivative we're getting a minus 2 e to the minus x over 2 you'll combine it in, we'll combine it in, y e minus x over 2 is equal to minus 4 x e to the minus x over 2. This minus 2 will multiply with that, 4 you get a minus 8. I'll erase this so I can write everything which follows. You know all of this, there's nothing new. You'll have minus 8 e to the minus x over 2 plus c. That's your answer, almost your answer y is equal to this term right here is going to go on the other side and it will divide with everything when it divides over here you'll just get a minus 4x when it divides here you'll get a minus 8 when it divides with that c you get plus c divided by e to the minus x over 2 but i'm going to bring it up i'll write it as c e to the x over 2 positive exponent the negative exponent having been removed by bringing it up so what's your answer here your answer is this y is equal to all of this right here minus 4x minus 8 plus c e to the exponent x over 2 this function here represents the answer for which this differential equation is true and i'm going to remove these tools over here so you know what the original question was if you solve this differential equation your answer is this right over here and it should be good we have one more question to look at and that's going to be a little tricky question but it'll be interesting our last question is this x squared plus one dy or dx minus y equals one remember this question could have been written with these dy or dx's replaced with that symbol y prime in all instances y prime is the same thing as that but so what do we do from here divide everything here by x squared plus one all the way across when you divide everything by that you'll get everything into this form which you want dy over dx plus py is equal to q remember the sign here can be plus or minus but this is a general form divide it and you get dy over dx minus 1 over x squared plus 1 y is equal to 1 over x squared plus 1 Here's your p-value right here, minus 1 over x squared plus 1. Your integration factor has to be determined. e to the exponent of integral minus 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. That's your integration factor. But you know that 1 over x squared plus 1 brings in the arctan antiderivative. With the minus, you're really looking at e. You have a minus integral 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. You're really having e to the minus arctan x. That right there is your integration factor which will multiply with everything over here and that integration factor is right e exponent minus arctan x so we are going to bring that into picture over here and we'll multiply everything in that parentheses and distribute it across so you'll have e exponent arctan x dy over dx minus e exponent minus arctan x we have a y over x squared plus one is equal to Let's bring this here as a numerator, e exponent minus r tan x over x squared plus 1. When you're looking at all of this, you could have checked, technically written everything here as a 1 over e with a positive exponent. You could have done that. It wouldn't have been anything wrong. But when you're looking at all of this, you're really looking here at a derivative of this component with a y. y e to the minus r tan x. That's exactly what it is. You're doing the integral of this and you're doing the integral of this. That's what you're doing. But now for this part, I'm going to remove the negative exponent because for me, it's easier to comprehend what I'm seeing over here. I'm seeing over here a 1 over e to the positive arctan x and then x squared plus 1 and then dx. You see how I've gotten rid of the negative exponent here, but I didn't over here. There's nothing wrong with me doing that. This is just algebraic manipulation. Polynomial substitution. If u is equal to arc tan x then du is equal to 1 over x squared plus 1 dx and dx is equal to du with the x squared plus 1 attached to it this du with the x squared plus 1 will cancel out with this denominator x squared plus 1 
in the end all you'll have coming from right over here is just integral 1 over e to the u du which you can view as e to the minus u du when you do that you're getting a minus e to the minus u plus c but what exactly is this u the u is right over here bring that into the picture i'm gonna bring it into the picture i have minus e arc tan x i'm gonna push this out here on the side just for cleanliness sake this right here is everything coming from right over here which i'm bringing it into the picture here remember i've shown you all the work and i'm bringing it back minus e minus r tan x plus c now you know this right here disappears you really have y e to the exponent minus r tan x is equal to minus e to the exponent minus r tan x plus c now all you have to do is just take this r tan component on the other side and we will do it and then we'll bring out our formal final answer and it will be presented for you right over here when you take this component right here on the other side it divides y is equal to minus e to the minus r tan x divided by e exponent minus r tan x plus c divided by e to the exponent minus r tan x but when you clean up all of this this minus and this cancelling out you'd have y is equal to minus 1 plus c e to the positive r tan x and that right there will represent your final answer you could have done c e exponent r tan x minus 1 or you can write this first and that second but this right here is the function for which this differential equation is true when you remove these items here you see exactly what the original differential equation was x squared plus 1 dy over dx minus y equals 1 and that right there is a question which has been solved for you it was slightly difficult but the answer is good if you do it on the side on your own paper you can work it out and see everything should match everything i put for you right here i'm confident this answer is good and that's it for this particular video thank you for watching you all have a great day bye